Welcome back to Yale Finance. Consumer packaged goods have been dealing with rising costs issues here to discuss how it's weathering the constraints and what the future looks like for his brand is Samir Malhotra, Cafe Spice co-founder and CEO. Samir, thank you so much for your time today. Wanted to start off with just, if you would, please just give us a quick evolution of how you got to where you are today. You started off as a family restaurant and then went into and diversified into consumer packaged goods. Hi, Karina. Thanks for having me. Um, yes, Cafe Spice started as a family chain of restaurants. Uh, we have roots in fine dining. And what happened is in 2003, Whole Foods opened their, their store in Columbus Circle in New York City. Um, we had a commissary that was looking to make all of our food for, to expand our restaurant chain. And lo and behold, Whole Foods brought us in as a partner to make all, their, all of their Indian food initially. And now we make a whole bunch of other products for them. In 2008, we launched our first line of grab-and-go meals, uh, initially with Whole Foods, and then now we've expanded beyond to many other chains across the country, including Kroger, Harris Teeter, and now um, we launched during the pandemic on Amazon, and that's been a, a big pivot for us for direct-to-consumer and a big growth channel. So, Samir, talk to me a little bit about um, the spices that you use in this food, have you been having a difficult time getting a hold of them given the supply chain issues? And I know a lot of your food you try to source uh, locally when you can. What have the price increases that, you've been ex that we've all been experiencing, how has that impacted the business? Have you had to raise prices yet uh, at the consumer level? We try to hold off as much as we can, expecting things to get better. But, um, you know, it started with the labor shortage. That's we seem to see getting a little bit better when it comes to getting line workers and, and things like that up. And we're based in the Hudson Valley. We're seeing things get a little better. We're still facing a little challenge from seasonal work, uh, seasonal workers. Um, the Amazons and Walmarts are hiring. Um, and they're very aggressive, but we're still seeing that get a little better. The cost of products or um, raw materials, especially the, the items we import, continue to be on the rise with the supply chain issues. Um, it's really a moving target. We tried to hold off on raising our prices as much as we could, but um, it seems the conversations that we've been having over the last month or month and a half, it, it's expected and um, it's, and it's going to cause our retail prices to go a little higher at, at the other end. And, and our, our customers seem to be accepting it and it hasn't been crazy, but it, it's a moving target. Every day, every day it's something else, whether it's raw materials, when it's packaging, plastics, uh, and the latest uh, has been freight. With, with the gas prices and the trucker shortage, of freight prices are going up every day, every week, and we ship across the country. So it's, it's hard to manage as a small, smaller business. Um, because the freight's really on us, but uh, we're, we're managing and we're looking forward to hopefully seeing it get better in the next in the new year. And you say you're shipping across the country. I know it just showed up in my local supermarket, so there is definitely a growing recognition. But I wanted to ask you, what sort of appetite for this plant-based food and most of it being vegan? Um, Indian food isn't the first thing that people typically think of, oh, let me go get this. But there is some sort of growth in the brand. And what sort of brand loyalty are you seeing? That's a good question. So, yes, Indian food, chicken tikka masala still is our number one seller. But with this big movement in plant-based foods, in fact, there's a plant-based um, entire plant-based trade show going on right now at Expo at Drink of Javits Center, which is amazing. What's great when people ask me about Indian food and plant-based, our Indian food has always been high in protein and, and plant-based. It's We don't use any additives. It's not processed in any way. I mean, just chickpeas and lentils are part of our everyday cuisine and our comfort food. So with the move towards high protein and, and plant-based, our food really hits that target. And, so, and it's very flavorful with the different spices that we use. So just naturally we have, caught on to the plant-based movement without having to go towards using um, artificial meats or made, uh, you know, the plant-based meats right now. And what about expansion plans for 2022? Where I know that you recently moved into the Whole Foods in Canada. Uh, so uh, what's next for 2022? Yeah, we're launching our vegetarian items in Whole Foods in Canada just this week. Um, in 2022, we're building a new facility, so we're looking to expand a lot through the club channel. We're, we're testing a couple items with Costco right now. We launched a line of um, 
non toasties, which is Indian street food. It's a basically like a high end grilled cheese with chicken tikka or chutney chicken and a, and a cauliflower tikka. The non toasties are are available on Amazon as well as in some Whole Foods stores and um, other retailers around the country like Fresh Time. The non toasties have been a big hit like, during COVID. Everybody went to contactless, and that's where our our grab and go business tripled over that time. And we went into these handhelds uh, as just like a lunch option. Before, before the pandemic, we, we were able to educate our customer a lot with demos and things like that. Now we're not able to, so we've kind of pivoted more towards digital advertising in, in the education space. Um, and these new items give us that opportunity to, to represent more of an educational standpoint so people try the products. I actually recently tried one of those non-toasties, the cauliflower one. It was pretty good. We will have to leave it there. Samir Malhotra, Cafe Spice co-founder and CEO, thank you so much for your time today.